Hi there, I'm Katherine Ambrose with Ambrose Team, Keller Williams Realty in Wichita, Kansas. And here's something you should know if you have a pet and you've got a home to sell. I recently showed a patio home that was absolutely beautiful, meticulous, uh, great floor plan, but we had one issue. The seller waited until we got there to leave, which is always awkward. We would much prefer the seller be gone. Secondly, she left her dog in the middle of the living room in a crate, and this was a third showing for this property, and uh, the potential home buyer arranged for her daughter, son-in-law, and their three children to um, attend the showing with us. This was our chance to really give a lot of thought to this home before writing an offer, and so I want to share with you how the beautiful, sweet dog behaved once the homeowner left. Needless to say, the poor dog was upset the entire time that the homeowner was gone, and the buyers and the realtor were in a very awkward position. We're dog lovers, but that's not our dog. We didn't have permission to let her out of the crate. Um, you know, we could have maybe done it and then been a little bit worried about it. I don't know that that would have helped us any. I've had lots of challenges with dogs being loose in a house. Um, but the main thing is, is that even if a home seller has to take the dog and just ride around in a car, then that's really what you should do because the cutest, sweetest dogs are a huge distraction whether they behave or not. And in this case, it was a major distraction. And I think a lot of buyers would have just given up and said, forget it, we can't concentrate. These people were so sweet and put up with it. But I'll tell you what, we were there for an hour because they were so serious about this property and discussing it as a family. We had to listen to that barking uh, the whole time. The children, three of them under six years of age, were very distracted and upset by the dog. The middle child especially wanted to get doggy treats that he saw in the laundry room and bring them to the dog, which we didn't let him do. I don't know that that would have helped uh, anyway. Again, it's not our dog. We shouldn't have to worry about what to do with the dog or how to react with the dog. Dogs should be gone, and they really shouldn't be in the middle of the most beautiful room in the entire house. Um, so... Coming from a dog lover, this is something really important that home sellers need to know. If you want to sell your home and you want to sell it for top dollar, even if it's pet lovers that are looking at your home, your pets are a distraction and they need to be gone if at all possible. So that's my tip for today.